Well, how long did this ordeal take? Um, it was over three months. You think the insurance commissioner may have been a, a deciding factor in getting the insurance company to you will cough and, and take care of you? I, I think that uh, they, they did have something to do with that. I, I, I think that really what helped a lot, too, was me getting hold of the president of the company. That going up the ladder is something you would recommend then? Yeah, I, I would say don't take no for an answer. You know, most people would have just got tired of dealing with it. And like I said, it was an older, it was a 1997 Jeep Wrangler. It was my, it was my car, but my son was driving it. But uh, I think that when I was told that uh, the car came from the factory with frames that were not straight, that was really the deciding factor for me that I just said, you know, I'm not going to let these guys get away with this. And the one thing that I learned on this, when you're dealing with an insurance preferred auto shop, you are not the customer. The insurance company is the customer. And they're going to take care of that insurance company and not you. Why do you say that? You started feeling that you weren't the customer. Well, I got the car back and I went and I said, look, guys, I am not happy with the paint job. And they, they just said flat out, you know, we're not going to do anything with it. It just seemed everything that, that I was not happy with, the guy couldn't talk to me about. He couldn't resolve. He had to go back to the insurance company. I guess the bottom line here is that I'm trying to say is that, you know, when you get an estimate or get a repair done from a preferred shop and you're not happy, you really need to do what it takes to uh, take it to the next step and don't take no for an answer.